Snake Ass Butterman 007 here, and as you can see, you can see my face. Now, it's not the best webcam, as you can see, you can't see that much color. And, and when I do this, it's a lot of motion blur, but hey, it's the best I could get. I most of the webcams I've seen cost hundreds of dollars, and my friend just gave me this. So I hope so. Uh, if you can't tell. I'm wearing a yellow shirt. Uh, it looks like I'm wearing black and white, and my background is like black and white. It's blue and yellow. Okay. These two are blue. This is yellow. I uh, may try and get, I'm gonna try and get a new uh, webcam, a better one, but not not for a while. So just so just roll with it. So welcome to the monster inside. This is, I don't know much about this game, but I know you're like, an, I think you're a detective and you're trying to solve murder cases, or the one murder case. I, it's not really a game, it's more of a uh, novel, and also uh, there's going to be some cuts, because I found out that my editing software, it has hard times loading long uh, videos, so I can't, so a depth video, 57 minutes long, wasn't able to be put up. And I wanted it to be long. It was really good. Um, yeah. Also, I'm sorry for not being here the last few days. It there was a lot of stuff going on. I had my mother's birthday. My video editing software wasn't working. Well, and just so much stuff happened. So let's just get right into this because I don't know much about this game. And uh, so each 20 minutes is probably going to be a uh, cut because uh, I think if I cut it down into a few pieces. It will work better. So, uh, yeah, and also you could see me, so I hope you guys like this. Hope you guys like my new leather jacket. Well, I got this, like, a few days before I started recording, and I will wear the first one, but there was really no point because you guys couldn't see me. So, let's just get right into this. The Monster Inside, an auto visual novel by Random Seed Games. Wow. Well, my head pounded, ears still ringing slightly. Some of the worst nightmares I've had in years left me feeling like I'd been punched in the jaw. But just like any other day, I dragged myself to the office. Oh. There was another notice on the door from Mayor Vin Vinti Vinetti's office. Permits out of date. They didn't like me much and were trying to drown me in paperwork. It was a slow month, weeks since I'd had a, any real case to work on, so I passed the time pacing the office, smoking and staring at the mirror in the corner, safely covered with an old bed sheet. I don't dare look at my own reflection. I'm too afraid of what I might see. Afraid someday I might have an, I might have to face what I really am. The girl came in so quiet that I nearly choked on my cig cigarette. Don't smoke. Mister, please, you gotta, you gotta help me, Mister. I do not do good girl voices. <laughs> Sorry, but uh, hold on. I gotta get a drink of water because I just realized my throat is really dry. Give me one sec. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, I should probably bring like a glass of water up here every time. So. Sorry about my girl voice if it's not too good. So uh, yeah, not the best webcam. So sorry. Calm down, sit and talk slow. Yeah, what can I help you with? You ever hear of knocking first? Calm down, sit and talk slow. Okay. Okay, thanks. It's just no one will listen to me. Just tell me your tale. I'm listening. She eyed me with just a dash of, dash of suspicion as I tossed back a handful of pills and cased them with a swig of whiskey. I could tell that this might take a while. Her name was Lily. It's like one of those old-time uh, detective movies. She told me she was. Th she told me she was his mistress, the man all over the newspapers, the infamous, the infamous banker, Mr. Reginald Fransworth. Mr. S Farnsworth was a drunk, flandering bastard. 
but this girl seemed genuinely concerned that he had recently gone missing. Less concerned about the fact that Mr. Farnsworth's wife, wife had just turned up dead in Central Park two nights ago. You don't understand. He just couldn't have done it. He hated his wife, but he couldn't have killed her. Everyone thinks it was him. No one believes me. He's got to be in trouble. I ain't saying I believe you, but what makes you think he's in danger? Because looks, case looks pretty simple to me. Well, well, Mr. Um, Jack, you can just call me Jack. Jack Septicai? Am I Jack Septicai? No. Jack, whoever did that to his wife must have been the one who took him. He would have never left without me. He promised me. I'm sure Mr. Farnsworth promised this poor girl a lot of things. Please, the cops won't listen to me, and they want to bring him in on charges. You've got to prove it wasn't him before they find him. Honestly, I doubt they are in too much of a hurry. Farnsworth had per practically the entire police force in his deep pockets, probably why they hadn't found much yet. If they found him and brought him in, it would be due to public pressure. Sometimes a mob with pitchforks is more dangerous than one man with money. You've got my curiosity, but you might not like what I find. I can help you. We'll get to the bottom of it. Don't wor don't you worry. Yeah, I'm going to be nice. Oh, thank you, Mr. Jack. Thank you. But please, be careful. I don't think this was just any murder or kidnapper. I think... I think it was a... A beast. Oh. Oh, this is this kind. Beast. The word struck me funny. Like when you jar your elbow in a hard corner. Ow. I hate that. Not a word many use these days, except in hus hushed whispers and bedtime stories for children. Oh, they were real enough, alright. They just got better at hiding, controlling their unseemly urges. But I hadn't seen any monsters in nearly 15 years. What have I seen? Back when I was still a cop myself. Well, that's definitely that's definitely an interesting theory. I can help you. We'll get to the bottom of it. Don't you worry now. Leave leave the detective work to me. Let's not jump to conclusions. That's a de that's definitely an interesting theory. I just have a feeling about it. Something tells me you can get to the bottom of it. You're good at this sort of thing. Well, I'm a detective. It would be my job. Sure, can't you see how busy I am with cases? I replied a little too harshly. Sarcasm wasn't my strong suit. Don't be harsh to her. I reassured her some more and sent her on her way. I didn't want to scare her, but I warned her before she left to keep her doors locked and called me if she saw anything suspicious. <coughs> oh, God. Come on! Why with the voice now? Ugh. I didn't know if she wasn't in any danger herself, but better safe than sorry. Yeah. That night, I made my way down to Central Park. It was a long shot, but maybe there was something there the cops had missed. Oh, that was a short chapter. The scene was already picked clean by the cops days ago. But I got, but I've got a knack for finding the things others overlook. Am, don't tell me I'm looking. A knack, more of a symptom, of a of a condition. Other less useful symptoms I kept in check, but for the time being, my keen sense of smell would come in handy. What am I, a dog? It was faint, but I could smell it before I even approached the police line. Before I even. The scent was less of a thing and more of an emotion. Sedu Seduction. There better not be rape. I will kill who did it. Strangely familiar smell. That, that does not correlate with what I just said, right? Oh, God. I expected the scent of trepid trepidation or maybe even more outright fear but Mr. Farnsworth seemed to have been at the height of pleasure when 
She was when she left this world. Oh, Mrs. Farnsworth. What is with the names? Make it easy. Brought a new meaning to a crime of p passion. What? Pushing the thought from my mind, it was time to get down to business. Investigate the scene. What's that? Muddy footprints everywhere. Difficult to pick out anything from the prints the cops left behind in their haste. But the cops don't wear 2,000 pairs of... Wear 2,000 pairs of car... Kinos. What? It looked like Mr. Farnsworth was there la that night and walked away on his own two feet. Alright. Um. Oh. A burn mark on a nearby tree caught my eye. I ran my finger around along its length and felt a chill down my spine. Oh god, I just felt that. Ugh. This wasn't just any burn mark. This was a mark of an ancient magic. It's doubtful the cops would have picked up on it. Could Lily have been right? Something unnatural was at play here. That looks kind of normal to me. I mean, just take like a, a, a metal pipe and make it a thousand degrees and just kind of scratch along the trees. That'll make that. But I was no stranger to the strange. After looking around for a little while longer, I realized the park had given up all it was hiding for me. So I trudged back to my apartment and head, and my head hit my pillow like it owned, like it owed me money. This is a small game. I was expecting longer. The next morning, I was reeling from another bout of ghoulish nightmares, but I tried to hide my discomfort. When I saw Lily, I was already sitting outside my office. She waited wordlessly as I unlocked the door and I and ripped down another notice from the mayor's office. I motioned for her to step inside, seemingly afraid of what I might say. She finally worked up the courage to ask. So, what did you find? Well, I've got some good news. Farnsworth might still be alive. Not sure about Beast, but something unnatural was at play. Might be right to worry about monsters. Found a spell mark. That doesn't have to be a spell of marks. It, well, I mean, all right. I probably shouldn't have given her false hope like that, but she seemed like she needed something to hold on to right then. She didn't need to know about the mark on the tree. How do you know that? Where is he? I found his footprints. Seems like he got out safely. There were signs he was at the scene and slipped away. My tone was indifferent towards her as I tuned and grabbed a bottle from my desk drawer. A dryness in my throat made it difficult to swallow, swallow my meds. That's what I'm feeling right now. Is that my meds? Nah. I just ADD. But you don't know where you, where you went? Do you think the news this morning is related? What news is that? Haven't you heard? Yeah, but maybe you should tell me what you know. <laughs> no, rough night followed by a rough morning. Eh. They found the police chief wife dead down by the docks. Oh, they said it happened last night. Ooh, let me guess. Chief Amato is missing too. My face might have betrayed a hint of satisfaction as she confirmed my suspicions, but it faded quickly. And Amato was a shit cop and a shit chief. Chief. Um, yeah, he was half the reason I left the force, but now his wife was dead and I had more questions than I did the day before. <clears throat> Damn, my mouth, ugh. The gears on my head started to spin, which wasn't helped by the splitting pain at my temples. I told Lily I needed, a needed time to work and she left slightly dejected. Wanting more answers than I could bro provide. Ugh. The night after the cops had cleared out of the docks, I would slip down and see what I could uncover concerning Mrs. Amato's ultimate demise. <clears throat> These are some really short chapters. I think there's like eight, so I may stop it here. Maybe, I don't know. The cold air smelled strongly of salt and oil, and... Could it be? What? 
That smell again. Like someone had bought a pure uh, arousal and used it as perfume. It hit me like a long forgotten memory. The sensual fumes soon gave me, gave way to a rush of adrenaline. I knew exactly what the scent reminded me of, and that scared me more than not knowing. Is this like a vampire? I looked down at my hands, shaking. The nightmares, the headaches. No, I was better now. Reformed. I had to focus. No jumping to conclusions. Follow the evidence. What are these chains? Red Phoenix cigarette. Those are not cigarettes. Red Phoenix cigarettes. Same shitty brand I smoke every day. Every day, everyone's got their vice. When was this? Don't smoke. It's just bad for you. Don't smoke. It ain't good. All right. What? What's there? There, just there, the smallest piece of piece of purple fabric torn and caught in the splinter of a board. That could be anything. The police report didn't say anything about Miss Amato wearing purple. And it was certainly of a quality that you wouldn't expect down here. Doesn't see too many high soci society types around flaunting royal purple threads. I pulled out my own pack of reds and lit up. You were just insulting him that they had the reds, and then you pull out your own kind? Really? I could already feel another headache coming on, but looking out over the waves seemed to help me forget. I mean, everyone has their type of poison. You know what I mean? Like, you know what that is? Like, you know it's bad for you, but it's good, so you just take it? Like, some is cookies, some is alcohol which I do not right which do not do please um mine is kind of Diet Coke the cold helped me push down the uncomfortable thoughts that had been bubbling to the top of my brain all right one more I think I'll do one more chapter okay and also yeah let's do one more chapter because we're almost at 20 minutes so I honestly don't remember the walk back to the office. Apparently I spent the night in, in my easy chair. The air from the docks lingered on my clothes. Maybe that's the smoke. It was still dark out. No, I checked the clock. How long had I been out? Had I really slept through the entire day? A newspaper was sitting under the door. As, as I stood to fetch it, I nearly fell over. A wave of nausea hit me like a ton of bricks. I steadied myself and regained my composure. Before I even picked up the paper, I could already read the headline. Breaking, mayor missing, wife found dead. I don't, it's, I don't, I'm getting sick, uh, he, I don't think it's a uh, beast. It seems more like someone who has it out for all the top people here. Like, you know, from like Lady Arkham from Batman, Telltale. Also, I wish I could play that for you guys, but I, I'm kind of pushing my limit on games, but I still have games to play, so maybe I'll be able to get it. Two cases in coincidence. Three is a pattern. The cops would have come asking questions soon. They knew I had a history of antagonizing all the victims. I stumbled to my desk and slammed back three days worth of inhib inhibitor pills. I couldn't take any chances. I had to investigate the scene to be sure. I threw on my jacket and went to the door. Lily caught me off guard on the other side. Jack, where are you off to? I've been trying to reach you all day. I'm sorry, Lily, but I don't have time to talk. I have to go. I'm just busy. I am off Mrs. Vanetti's crime scene. To Mrs. Vanetti's crime scene. Sorry, Lily, but I just have time to I have to walk up. Okay. We need to talk when you get back. Stay safe. This is a really... She, she gave me a soft kiss on the cheek as I rushed off. Part of me wanted to stay and tell her it would be okay, but it would be a lie. What do I know? Oh. Alright, um... I'm gonna end it here, guys. 
Uh, yeah, I know. It's kind of a... I hate those uh, cliffhangers as well, so... I really... Although, make sure to come back... Uh, hopefully this goes up Tuesday, so come back next Tuesday. Uh, again, I'll try and keep more videos coming. But over the weekend, may not have videos coming, because... I usually have a lot to do over the weekend. I'm sorry. Maybe if I get time and maybe if I find an extra game I may play. If I have nothing to do, I will try and record. Um, yeah, so thank. I hope you guys enjoyed the monster inside. Make sure, make sure to subscribe to join the to, to join the spy agency. We we've only we technically we only have zero subscribers, so we. Don't have anyone joining, so if you're the f so first one, congratulations! Congratulations! I'll have you number one in the entire thing. So don't leave at so don't leave the channel. You're number one. You're the number one spy. If you join, cause I know I see the five subscribers, but I know them. They're my friends. They just subscribe to be nice. So so I'm gonna I'm really I hope you guys really do enjoy this game. It's on Steam. Uh, it's not too, it's not too expensive. I think it's like, uh, somewhere in the 10 to 5 buck line. Or, well, it's not 10 bucks, like 9 or 8 or 7. So, uh, hope you, so, I'll be back with this game later. What, so, Spider-Man Devil 7 is out of here.